what's going on YouTube, or Storm here coming at you guys with an updated variant of my Odd Eyes Magician deck profile post training victories. So, um, obviously the deck got some new Odd Eyes more pop monsters that really do change the deck's um, strategy a little bit. So, the first thing I want to talk about with you guys is, okay, two things. It's like, okay, or where's the other deck profiles? I know you guys are used to getting, like, new deck profiles. Um, of all the decks, every time we get a new ban list and it's already made, I haven't gotten any, and I'm sorry about that. But the main reason is... I was more focused on getting my decks uh, red deck ready for my CS use, and honestly, this is the competitive deck I'm going to be rocking this format. I haven't had a chance to update um, Dark Worlds and Ignites and Battle and Boxers, Heroes and Black Wings. But however, I feel like the best thing to do is just wait till Shining Victories came out because there are a few cards from those from that set that I'm looking to grab. Um, for example, I'm looking to play Angel Trumpeter and Ignites. I'm looking to play um, Cheatery, of course, and Black Wings. So. And there's a couple cards I'm missing for heroes that I'm looking for. And I also have a Dynamis core that I've been sitting on from um, Yu-Gi-Oh! player that I just haven't gotten to use yet. So um, I just haven't really, you know, wanted to spend the funds quite yet. I'm kind of, I was being really patient. However, I promise, you know, sometime, you know, I will, these deck profiles will be updated in the future. Just stay patient, guys. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get to deck profiles. First off. We have three copies of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. So this this card is the main um, boss monster that one of the big boss monsters of the deck. So um, when it's in the pendulum zone during the end phase, it's like it's a searcher for your um, for any pendulum monster that has fifteen hundred or less attack. Um, I believe it was the first um, search card we ever had for pendulums, and it does double battle damage. And it, there's just some nutty interaction with this card and um, Odd Eyes Unicorn. So yeah. Then the, uh, of course, the partners in crime, the one Skull Corp, Matt Joker, and the one Monkey Board. Um, Monkey Board just got, it was always a, a decent card in this deck, but it got that much better when we got um, Odd Eyes Unicorn because now you have yet another consistent um, low high scale. One of the biggest problems magicians had, um, especially with Wisdom Eye going to one, is consistently getting that low high scale. Well, now you have a card that can search out your. your now that you can search out Unicorn, you can actually set, you know, a very consistent 1-8 scale, which is really, really good. Um, and, of course, getting easier access to your Joker is really, really good as well, because it searches your Wisdom Eye and all your Magicians, as well as Odd Eyes. And then, two copies of Foreign Pal Pendulum Sorcerer. I was debating bumping this down to one um, for my previous builds, but I decided to keep a little bit more Foreign Pals in here than I as well and I feel like two is a good number plus its pendulum effect is really really good then uh, two copies of Lizard Draw the reason I don't run I run this and not Key Turtle is because um, one thing I've learned about playing this deck is you will not always have Sky Iris access to you know clear off bad scales and I can easily see Key Turtle bricking my scales so basically this guy is either there to, there for, if I really need to pendulum summon fours I put this with monkey board and then I can ping it away um, to clear my skills. So I, the reason I play it over, you know, and don't play Key Turtle is because of that. Then uh, the new Perform Pal Odd Eyes Monsters Light Phoenix and uh, Odd Eyes Unicorn. So if you don't know what these cards do, these are obviously new. Um, um, Light Phoenix's um, Pendulum effect allows it to destroy itself. If you have another, the, another, if you another card in your other pendulums, then you can destroy the other pendulum card. Then special summon this when your opponent declares a direct attack. It can also tribute itself to pump up a perform pal monster who you control um the mate and then a uh, unicorn has a pendulum effect that once while it's in the pendulum zone if an eyes monster clears an attack you can pump up that eyes monster equal to a perform pal monster you control then then it has an effect on the field where you can um, gain life equal to perform pal in your graveyard the reason these cards are so good is they are not perform pals but they're also odd eyes monster which means not only can you search them with sky iris you can recycle them with a dragon magician and they also count as Odd Eyes monsters, so you can make Vortex Dragon with them, which is really good. Having more options to get. So, for example, say like you, you have Odd Eyes Fusion in hand, and you have another Pendulum monster out. You can normal summon this, gain the life, and then Fusion summon with Odd Eyes Fusion. So, having more ways to search scales is always really good. Then for the magician side of the deck, the uh, one you know rip one Wisdom Eye magician. Um, However, I will say this card is at one for a reason. You know, there there are some really nutty interaction with this card. If you have this this card, 
another scale and sky iris you can just literally just stack your extra deck so so quickly and you know as good as this, this card is at one for a reason the one timebreaker magician i put this back in the deck because i need well i just needed more magician names for pendulum call but the other reason was i just like having easily searchable outs and it actually has pendulum effects actually not that bad the uh, two Oaf Dragon Magicians. Um, Oaf Dragon um, is. I've always been an advocate of playing three because of you know being able to recycle cards is really important um, because you're all the. But the thing is in this build, um, I opted to bump it down simply because I just needed space for other cards. The one Yankee Magician. Um, Yankee Magician is obviously you know really good against. Um, monarchs it's okay against cosmos if they don't have a ship to tag out into it also does allow you to make odd eyes rebellion dragon so that's not too bad as well the three dragon pit magicians i'm no longer playing um dragon pulse because one of the things i did notice at ycs houston is that you don't need dragon pulse that much dragon pulse is more useful in a game two or three scenario in those type of scenarios you're probably better off sighting in you know cards like dark hole cards like cards that you know maybe an arch centric for example i feel like but obviously dragon pit is more I feel like more important because it, one it clears back row two it's a scale eight and the last magician is one noble dragon magician i still like this card um, because it gives me easy um it's good pitch fodder for a uh, pendulum call and it uh, gives me easier access to meter burst and clear wings, so yeah. And then, of course, the last two pendulum monsters is two magic brick, unicorn, Kieran. A lot of people play against magicians say this card is one of the reasons why the deck is so annoying to play against because this is probably one of the best disruptive cards in the entire um, deck. Being able to bounce, you know, any every, any of your pendulum monsters to bounce a card your opponent controls. It's like, for example. So you're playing against Burning, you summon this, this is out, and your opponent, you're playing against Burning Abyss. They, they go into their Dante, well, you can just bounce their Dante as soon as it hits the field before they can even get any mills off. It's really good against Burning Abyss. It's And it's also, it also is immune to targeting and, you know, um, it's targeting and destruction, like all the magic specters. So, yeah, and it also allows you to reuse your Joker, which is, and Wisdom Eye, which is amazing. Then for I am still rocking the these this dark the dark engine which is of course two Armageddon knights, one Zephyros, one Shadow Dragon, and then a, the tuning magicians. So I was a little skeptical when I first started testing this this dark engine. You know I was like is this just another meta fad? This fixes one of the biggest problems magicians have in my opinion because magicians have a problem getting rid of they take a lot of card they you have to basically use two cards to get rid of one card with Dragon Pulse and Dragon Pit. But these cards allow you to get rid of these these cards right here allow you to get rid of cards with the least number and it can hurt sometimes when you draw that dragon but you can always just pop it with sky iris and trigger its effect um two, the tuning magician is two i like it at two i mean you can run one but i like two because there are times where i think mine might get banished and i don't have uh, some a way to get it back in my grave so i feel like two is a good number i mean you can run one but i like two Um, now with the spells, I don't play traps because, similar to what something Jeff Jones said, he said he, um, that traps really hinder you and slow you down, at least in this deck. So two copies of um, Mystical Space Typhoon. So, MS, so I feel like this is a good, like, you can play it like one copy of Twin Twisters in the main if you wish, but I kind of feel like this is, running these in the main and side decking to Twin Twisters is a good um, strategy, at least in my opinion. And then the three pendulum calls. I was debating bumping this down to two, but the thing is, with Wisdom Eye at one, you really do need to have those consistent scales, as, as, uh, and you want to see this card as often as possible, so you have to run three. The and then the two Sky Iris and the one Terraforming. Um, this is a pretty like I feel like I was thinking about maybe bumping this to three, but the thing is, you only have seven Odd Eyes monsters, even with the new. Even with Light Phoenix and Unicorn, you still only have seven targets, and you really, really don't want to break opening this at multiples. And then uh, the one reinforcement of the army for searching our Armageddon Knight. The one out of Ice Fusion. Um, I don't feel like you need more than one. Um, I think one is a good number. And then uh, the one in Regeki. And that's all for the main deck. And then for the extra deck, the... Uh, one odd eyes rebellion dragon so um the main, there's a couple reasons you want you have to you, first off if you want to get odd eyes fusions effect off to fusion summon a for quote unquote free you do need this in your extra deck the, the other reason is i have brought it out against um 
I have brought it out with uh, Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon, or and it is really good in those situations because the 3k beater, and then it's a one card scale, so that's really, really good. Um, overall, and you can actually summon it, although I... I haven't really ever successful summoned it with its whole effect, but I'd have to play test more to see if that if that's worth playing it. Then the one absolute dragon, um, basically it's like a utopia for odd eyes, except better. Um, and I don't feel like you need. Sorry, I don't feel like you need more than one, at least in my opinion. The one flare metal, flare metal is sort of like the a cowboy for um, for rank seven decks. Uh, you just make it when your opponent's low on life and they auto lose. The one, uh, number 11, Big Eye. Um, Big Eye is just Mr. Steel Girl himself. I still not the biggest fa fan of it. I just hate the card still, but, you know, if you can play it, you run it. The one, Utopia, and Utopia the Lightning, and Utopia Beyond, the Utopia Brigade. Um, if, you're in the, if you're in the U.S. and not in the U.K., you're running these two cards. Um, I Pretty much everyone's extra deck at YCS Houston had these two cards. Beyond is really important in this deck because you can... It opens up a lot of the Beyond on Ice Penalty Dragon OTK, basically. So I feel like you know you should be running both in this deck. The one that goes to Emerald. Emerald became a necessity when the minute Wisdom I went to one because being able to cycle back your targets for um, your, being able to recycle is really really important. You know, mid to late game, as there is late game nowadays in Yu-Gi-Oh. The one Castell for getting rid of annoying problem threats. The one Diamond Direwolf, this is a new addition to the extra deck. Um, I decided, this uh, basically if you're playing the Dark Engine, you kind of play this because it allows you, basically for just the Armageddon Knight, you send the Zephyros, make this, and out whatever is being a pro annoying problem for you. That's what this card is for. It gets rid of problem threats. And then for the Synchros, the one copy of Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon. Being able to turn off battle phase effects is really, really good. Being able to you know st take a mush from your Pendulum Zone Special Summon it. The main thing is this gets pumped up with this card gets so much better with um, Unicorn because you get it fixes one of this deck's problems, which is getting over Dark Destroyer. Now you have an easy way to out Dark Destroyer without having to use Lightning. The one copy of Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, uh, I still like. I still like Clear Wing in this deck. I'm kind of a little iffy. Um, I might, if I could have room, I'd probably play Crystal Wing as well. But I feel like, I feel like I always like to have the second target for Noble Dragon just in case I've already summoned my uh, Meteor Burst. The one side frame Lord Omega. Now this is probably the most expensive card in the extra deck, and for good reason. But my theory behind this card is that it allows me to reuse my um, tuning magician over and over again. The second reason is that it's more recycling. Um, if you don't like, if you can't afford this card, you know there are you can play. I strongly recommend you play something like Scarlight as well. Scarlight is definitely a decent option, but I kind of like I just like Omega. And the one Ignister, um, you know, I think Ignister, we all know this card's at one for a reason. Um, being able to, you know, and, and it's just even better against Pedalum decks because you can pop a scale and then spin the other scale. And of course, last monster in the extra deck, the one Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. Being able to, it's basically like, it's a, when it's ever a special summon, it's, it compulses an attack position monster. The second effect is that it's basically like a quasar and allows you to cycle back monster at the cost of putting a monster in your extra deck back in your deck. And that about comes to the end of the deck profile for you guys. Guys, so as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos today. I really appreciate it when you guys watch my videos it's on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And if you like what you saw from this video, please subscribe or store. Signing out.